I've been making music pretty much my entire life, and Pepe, my video editor, he's been making music for just not very long. He's kind of a noob. He's kind of a noob. <laughs> Today, he's gonna be downstairs using my expensive studio setup with a ton of plugins and just everything, and I'll be up here using my laptop and free garage band. We have 60 minutes to make a beat starting right now. Let's do it. Go, 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 go. Let's see what he has. More plugins. Oh, he's got a bunch of stuff. Okay, while well, Pepe's trying to figure out what's on my computer, it's time for me to figure out how to use GarageBand. Okay, I have never used GarageBand. This is the first time I open it up. So let's try to figure this out. First of all, how do I get the keyboard? Because I don't have a mini keyboard with me. So I need to play with this. Window musical typing. I think that's it. Yes, okay. So I can only use stock sounds. So let's try to go through some of these. There's like bass, drum kits, electronic, drum kit, guitar. There's a bunch of sounds. I hope they're good. Let's try keyboards. Ooh. Okay, that's pretty bad. <laughs> okay, I was honestly expecting the stock sounds on GarageBand to be a little bit better. <laughs> this is gonna be hard. Let's see how Pepe is doing in my studio. Why I can't hear anything? It's not reading the MIDI. Oh my god. Okay, so something I realized watching this back is that I have never opened FL Studio on my computer. So he's literally getting the stock, just no setup, no nothing. <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. I just, I've never used FL Studio on this computer. I'm sorry, Pepe. You'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. You know what? I'm just gonna go with the keyboard. Just for the meme, let's start with this. It sounds trash before I even start. What is this? Guys, please tell Ed to change this mouse. This is horrible. I'm gonna take mine. See this? I'll be right back. This is much better. Okay, the clock is ticking and he's down there trash talking my stuff and not working on his beat, so I don't know. <laughs> on the other hand, I figured out the basics in GarageBand and now I'm starting to work on my chords. Well, kind of. This was alright. Maybe we can start with this sound. Let's see what we can do. Now, how does MIDI work? I just opened some kind of automation. I don't know what that is. How do I draw MIDI in? Okay, create MIDI region. I'm gonna extend it. Oh no, that's a loop. Create, no, do I have to really do it like that? Okay, start with a good old C. Oh, by the way, YouTube is telling me that 74.3% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. One of my biggest goals for 2024 is to try and get the channel to half a million subscribers. I think we can do it. We're not that far. So if you're enjoying the video and you want to hit the subscribe button, I really, really appreciate that. Create, no. Okay, my melody is finally coming together. Let's see if Pepe got some chords going. Okay, that's... Wait, let me save this. I'm gonna call it Pepe has been sheer. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Well, I'm glad he's finally getting into it and likes the way his beat sounds. Me, on the other hand? Do you know what it is? I hate this sound a lot. I don't like it. Okay, okay, this sound is terrible. New rule. I can use one plugin and that's Sky Synth. I'm gonna let him know. Bro, I totally forgot. I did it. I just didn't plan this. <laughs> Make sure you use a synth DST called Sky. It's fire. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only sound I can use that's not stock garage band. And also, it's the sponsor of today's video, but we'll get to that later. Oh, Ed just texted me. Bro, I totally forgot. Make sure you use a synth VST called Sky. It's fire. Okay, I'm just gonna write to him, gotcha. Even though I don't know what that is. Okay, more plugins. Sky? The mid is not working. <sighs> That's really fire, bro. Okay, Pepe's all fired up now, so he's good. <laughs> and for me, I think I finally found the sound I like. Okay, more sounds, more sounds. Dude, time is flying. Two, three, four. Can I at least quantize? How do you quantize? Please tell me it's the same as Ableton. Command U? Nope, it's not. Oh my god. Okay, time quant- Oh, I see, I see, I see. Time quantize. Let's do quarter note for this one. 
Okay, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. And while I'm still working on the basics in GarageBand, Pepe is already doing a bunch of stuff. So I'm just going to take this, going to delete it. Just going to take this, quantize it, and then just going to arpeggiate it. Now we're talking, dude. <laughs> Now let me do something. Let me duplicate this. Okay, perfect. I thought this was going to be easy, but he's kind of killing it right now. I'm actually a little bit scared. <laughs> anyway, time to work on my drums. Let's check out some of these drums, because maybe you didn't think about it, but I can't use my drum samples. <laughs> drummer. Add a drummer that automatically plays along with your song. Okay. Let's try that. Okay, we got pop rock, we got Kyle, we got retro rock, hard rock, punk rock, modern hip hop. Oh, we got a ton. Okay, let's try, I don't know, let's try modern hip hop. What is that? That's not bad. Let's try a different sound. That's kind of hard. That's actually cool. Wait, what? Did it crash? Dude, did it just crash? Okay, you did. Let me save. Let me save. Because that, that was scary. Saved it. I saved it. How much time do I have? Holy sh**. Oh, I'm so... I'm over there with the time running out and honestly in full panic mode. And Beppe is totally chill. He even took a little time to tell us his plan. The man has a plan. I thought he was supposed to be the noob. What happened? <laughs> Real quick, what are we missing? I want to add three things before starting the drums. A bass line, a lead, and some vocals. Let's start with the bass line. I just changed my mind. Let's start the drums. I'm gonna add the rest later. Okay, I see RP speakers. Okay, okay, production kits. Kind of right. Let me fix it a little bit. Then let me go here and I want to do something really cool. You see this echo delay fat mode? Ableton doesn't have it. You Ableton fans. Look, if you turn up the feed and you turn ping pong up, even the pitch, you're going to add delay to your hi-hats. That's a little bit much. Okay, I'm just going to turn it down. But you see... Dude, the Sky Synth is saving my life on this. Also, thank you Sky Studios plugin for sponsoring this video, supporting the channel. The plugin you're seeing me using this entire video is called Sky Keys. They actually went out and sampled a ton of like vintage analog synth. They got over 2400 sounds and picked the best 200 and some sounds to put inside of the plugin. So basically it's a sampler with some really unique, great samples, a bunch of effects and just really, really good sounds. Anyway, right now it's super discounted at $39 plus you can get 20% off with the code Talenti. Anyway, shout out to you guys for sponsoring the video. I really appreciate it. Let's get back to our beat. Before we start adding more sounds, let me get a bass going because I feel like bass is going to be a pain in the... Hey, I'm not gonna lie though, my confidence is like slowly just going up a little bit. Dude, I'm adding so much stuff in this. Okay guys, let's add a kick. Then before the 808, I'm just gonna put the rest of the melody in. Let's pitch it down even more. <laughs> Absolutely yes, dude. Dude, I feel like we're almost there. We just need to like spice it up a little bit, create some variation. This is going way better than I expected. <laughs> oh, dude, we got 10 minutes to go. I gotta go tell him. Shit. 10 minutes, 10 minutes. What the guy feels? Ten minutes later. Ten minutes later. Okay, what else do I want to add? I don't even know. Maybe something with my voice. <laughs> it's kind of weird though. They have arpeggiators. I didn't even see that. Let's try an arpeggiator. Let's see what they got. Really aggressive, but I'm gonna turn it down. Maybe is there like um? They actually have some effects. I didn't even know. Vocal tra- Oh, they have a vocal transformer. Okay, how much time do I have? Quick, 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 quick. Okay, reverb on this. That's fine. I don't care. A 
Okay, that's too much. But it was cool at the beginning though, right? Who am I asking? <laughs> I don't even think we need an 808 to be honest, but I'm just gonna add it because, yeah, you know, why not? Spins 808, as simple as it gets. And I think that melody wise, we're good. They have a vocal transformer, so I'm gonna try to put down something with my voice. Let's see if I can figure that out. A MacBook Pro microphone, that's perfect. Okay, let me record some vocals. Making a beat in garage band, using only stock sounds. This is all for a challenge. With my editor downstairs. <laughs> oh, that's awful. Okay, okay, with the effect though, that's hard. It doesn't even matter what I'm saying. <laughs> I think we did it! And we got three and a half minutes to spare. Guess we gotta use this, bro. We don't have much time left. I'm mistaking, I'm mistaking. This needs to go there. This needs to go here. Okay, I'm done. Let's go downstairs. Time's up! Time's up! As I just said. Close <laughs> everything down. Are you done? I'm done. We're absolutely done, 100%. Okay, let me see what you did. How did it go? What'd you do? It went fine. I don't know, I just... <laughs> experimented a little bit okay because i didn't have my sounds and it was just a mess but i tried to do my best it looks good i don't know anything and i hope it sounds good too <laughs> go ahead face bar let's go ready yeah That was fire, dude. That was awesome. Thank you so much. Good job. I oh, you were a noob, man. Eh. That, that was bad, dude. Okay, I was feeling pretty confident, but now I'm actually a little bit scared. I destroyed your confidence. A little bit. I was just gonna press play. I don't know. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> See you guys in the next video. Bye.